Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've seen me, I swear I don't look like this all the time. <laughs> my head looks like a bush. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is trying dry shampoo. So Batiste dry shampoo. My hair's a mess. It needs sorting. And I really swear by dry shampoo by Batiste. I absolutely love it. And I thought I've got to go out soon. My hair's looking a bit bushy. And I thought I'll set the camera up and film it. So this is me testing Batiste dry shampoo. These dry shampoos help you in between washes. So especially if you've got long hair, it helps you not have to wash it all the time and I really love that. They're also good to have the mini versions in your work bag. I carry one every day and they're just really nice. So with Batiste I'll just show you up close to the bottle. There's quite a few variants of scent or flavour however you want and definitely not flavour. <laughs> the scents are so varied and there's something for everybody. I swear by this stuff and I'm just going to show you now what I do with the dry shampoo. On the bottle it says the UK's number one dry shampoo with a sweet and charming fragrance. This one is in sweet and charming nice and it's got the cute lips on the bottle and it says on the back the sensual and feminine sense of nice will sweeten your day while giving your hair a gorgeously refreshed look which it needs because it needs a wash but this is a temporary fix. <laughs> the perfect quick fix for great looking hair between washes. Simply spritz on for clean, fresh looking hair with added body and texture. No water required. It's a great way to extend your blow dry, free up time in the morning, or give your hair a new lease of life whenever, wherever you need it. So it says there's three steps to fabulous hair. So I'm going to read these now. It says shake well, hold can 30 centimeters from dry hair, section and spray into roots. Number two, massage thoroughly with fingertips to ensure roots are fully covered and number three brushed through to remove excess residue and style as desired but as you can see my hair is a bush i need to sort it i use a wet hairbrush i have every day for years now i just have this little one in my handbag and i've got a little pink one on my dressing table as well but i swear by these as well i'm gonna start by should i start by brushing it i think i should it's just oh gosh there's so many knots don't shout at me i just brushed that horribly <laughs> Um, and if you've watched my channel for a while, I absolutely love doing hair videos and long hair is just my absolute favourite. And I'll do anything I can to try and keep it long. So that includes trying to wash it as little as physically possible without being gross. This is what it looks like when it's brushed. As you can see, it's got, it is greasy. It just, ugh. If I wasn't going out, I would wash this. Just get it all nice, but I have to go. This is the bottle. You just take the cap off like that. I'm going to shake it, like I said. And then I'm just going to spray it on the top here. And then I'm going to go in. Oh gosh, it's hard to look. I'm just going to try look it. Where am I going? <laughs> it's hard looking in the reflection. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> so... You see, that does disappear. Don't worry. I look a bit like a badger. Why do I look like a badger? So I'll just do that. That applied really, really well. So if you're watching this, don't use this as a tutorial because, I mean, I looked in the camera, which is mirrored. So I thought, you know what? If this is the first introduction to my channel, you are going to so far unsubscribe. <laughs> it's not even funny, lol. Yeah, you can see it is disappearing. I did that really wrong, but we'll do the other side now. I've got to try and think, where is it? There? So, sort of, mate. You still got it quite off the mark. If you have dark hair as well, you can get a brown hair brunette version and it does look quite good and it's not as white as this one um this residue does disappear and i will be brushing that out shortly i also use this on nights out when i used to go because i don't do that anymore i used to just use it to give myself volume yeah i just realized on the top one as well i have held it way too close to my head <laughs> uh lol well it's a bit of fun in it there we go. And you can see it's just sort of giving it some life back. I'm going to go under here as well, just a little bit more. And then I'll move around to the other side. But it's better to section your hair, just so you're not going to get clumps everywhere. And this one actually does smell really nice. I know it's aerosol, so don't make a habit of sniffing it. <laughs> uh, life lessons with Zoe Glitter. Right. That bit's a bit thin. I mean, there's no hair left there, so we'll we'll give that one a miss. And then if I go back over to the other side, <coughs> go back over to the other side, I'm just going to go and section it again because this bit needs a bit of seeing too. 
I mean, I did read the instructions out loud before I started this. <laughs> have I followed them? Absolutely not. But I have used Batiste dry shampoo since my teenage years and it's one I'll always go back to. Oops, I have tried other brands as well. And I do like a couple of other ones. There have been some successful uses in my time with them. But Batiste is kind of the one I always go back to. And I had this one a very long time. I bought this with one of my best friends, Kirsty. And we used to share it and it's cute. It's got some left, not a lot, but I liked it. And I like the big bottles as well. I also like the fact they do baby bottles. So you can put, not baby bottles, but little bottles you can put in your bag as well. So that's nice. So I can feel this is feeling a lot better than it was. This is just normally what I'd do if I was lazy the night before and I didn't want to have a hair wash night again because hair wash with long hair is quite quite a task sometimes. I do love washing my hair but sometimes you get in and you're so tired that really you haven't got the energy to do it so a dry shampoo is your best friend the next morning and that is why I wanted to do this video because I need to go out shortly and it is a dry shampoo kind of day. That's my washing machine. beautiful and that is the results of the dry shampoo so i hopefully i haven't got any white residue anywhere i have a little bit there um and hopefully you can see that it is all nice and tame now whereas before it was just absolutely not so that's good i <laughs> I don't know why I did this video but I just thought I'm getting ready I'm gonna stick the camera on and someone might be interested to see dry shampoo in action some weird hashtags that my channel gets found in and this might be one of them my favorite hashtag that my channel appears under is girl hoovering who has time to search that but that is the dry shampoo and I'm happy I'm ready to go I'm gonna be late but I would have been later had I not used the Batiste dry shampoo. So that is the end of this story. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know what it was, but please subscribe if you want to see more hair videos. I do a lot of those and I am going to a little festival soon. So dry shampoo will be quite useful when I'm there. So if you want to see more, you can follow me on Instagram. That's at Zoe Glitter, Zoe with a Y. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.